Hi, this is Don Curry, Chief Instructor of the NFCA, with another segment on gun fit. Today we're going to talk about drop at comb, or comb height. Uh, drop at comb is the distance that the comb drops from a uh, horizontal line that's extended all the way out from the rib, all the way across. And typically gun fitters talk about three different elements, uh, or three different measurements of drop at comb. One is drop at peak. The other is drop at comb, which is at the face, and the other is drop at heel. Those are the three different measurements of drop at comb. But typically when we talk about drop at comb, uh, most, most people are referring to the distance between that horizontal line extended across the rib to where the face is, okay? So if we want, uh, if we have a drop at comb that's too excessive, it could result in a student's eye, and you see, you see I have an empty gun, it could result in a shooter's eye uh, being down below the rib. And you can, you can see that uh, my eye dips down below the rib when I mount the gun. Now I'm doing this sort of artificially, but that's the way it would look. And what happens through the break point, as you can imagine, is if I'm coming to a target and all of a sudden I, I mount it completely and the gun gets between my eye and the target, I'm not going to see the target through the break point. That's a bad thing because now my left eye is taken over and uh, I have a gun placement problem. I'm, usually, I'm putting that gun in the wrong place based on information from the non-shooting eye, okay? So what we're looking for is the placement, for, as far as drop at comb, we're looking at the placement of the eye generally uh, above the rib. Just like a marble would sit on a table, we're looking for the eyeball to be sitting on top of the rib. So this is approximately what you'd be looking for. Um, with the whole eye, the whole colored part of the eye, which is called the iris, sitting above the rib. Now, um, if you're fitting yourself and not with the uh, assistance of a gun fitter or an instructor, uh, what you're looking for on a gun that has a, a mid bead, a mid rib bead, and a bead at the end, is you're looking for sort of a snowman, okay? You're looking for the mid rib bead to be slightly below the uh, end rib bead um, so that they sit um, with mid rib bead just below the uh, end rib bead so it looks like a snowman and that's why we call it a snowman. You don't really want to be flat on the rib with the beads lined up. A lot of new shooters come to our sport understanding that we're thinking that that's the way uh, a gun fit actually should be, that you should be flat on the rib with both beads lined up. That's not correct in shotgunning because again we're looking only at the target. We're not trying to line up the barrel and the target so we're looking only at the target. It's really important that that eye be high enough off the rib uh, to see the target all the way from the visual pickup point all the way through the break point. That's the critical thing about um, drop at comb. Now if you have a drop, uh, a drop at comb of your gun that's too excessive and you need to get up off of the gun so you need more height of the comb, there's a couple little tricks you can use. First of all, you can, you can put some moleskin on there, you can put some tape and cardboard or anything you want to do to build it up. One of the nice neat ways uh, to do it though is to use a product called a bear tooth comb riser. Now, this is a bear tooth comb riser and basically it comes in a kit and uh, in the kit you have a little neoprene wrap and you have um, six different or actually it's five different uh, sizes of inserts um, and six different sizes of inserts. So uh, and each of these inserts will fit underneath the neoprene wrap. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how we do that um, so that you can fit a gun to, your, to yourself if you have to, but uh, again my advice would be to get the uh, assistance of a, a qualified instructor to help uh, make sure that you get a good fit on your gun uh, before your next lesson. So we just take the neoprene wrap and we pull it down over the back of the gun. Once we get it down over the butt, we, we move the whole neoprene wrap down around the butt. That, now we'll move the whole neoprene wrap down near the, near the peak and then pull it back up, creating a really nice smooth fit. And it does take a little, a little wiggling to get that done. You want to make sure that the seam is along the bottom and not against the face of the shooter because that's pretty uncomfortable. Now that we've got it nice and smooth, now we're ready to put in our insert. So what we do is we peel this back, keeping the, the edge uh, exposed, making sure it doesn't curl under. So you want it to keep the edge exposed all the way down to the trigger group. And you want to roll it down almost to the peak, not quite. Leave yourself about an inch. An inch uh, behind the peak. Now you take your insert with the, uh, the pointy end facing down 
and put that right underneath the edge of the neoprene wrap. And the way you want to line this up is for a right-handed shooter, you want the left-hand side of the, of the insert to align with the left-hand side of the stock because you don't want to push the shooter away. You don't want to push yourself away from the gun. That's called cast on. All you want to do is create lift. So then you find something like a golf cart to rest the stock on and then peel the stock or the, uh, the neoprene wrap back. And now you can see you've got a nice, smooth application of the, the neoprene wrap. And you can see that the insert is nicely aligned. The left side of the insert is nicely aligned with the left side of the stock. So that's what we call a field expedient gun fit. Uh, $25 for the, the uh, bare tooth comb riser. Very inexpensive as compared to a full gun fit and new stock. That's all for, the, for this segment. Uh, look to our next other segments on gun fit.